everybody, my name is Mustack World, and welcome to Let's Talk. I'm joined by it. Oh, the end. And oh. here's the intro. So yeah, today we're gonna talk about paid access fees. Uh, I think they are really smart. Bakoya maybe has a different opinion about that than we're gonna hear him right now. Uh, paid access. Well, but it has positives and negatives. Mostly, on my opinion, on the negative side of it is if you look on how many games that are good lately, um, I can't understand paid access being basically beneficial. But in negative terms, it's more of people who doesn't have the robux. Obviously, the NPCs people can have to spend about weeks, months, just try and build up the robux to get access to it. Or they go around begging, like homeless beg people on people's doorsteps, saying, help me, pay me <laughs> robot, please. Yeah, that's kind of the thing that's happening. But I think it's, well, in a way smart, because the makers can actually make extra money with pre-alpha gameplay, so just general gameplay for VIP servers or without noobs. And I think, well, we used to have PC only, we still have it, but that's actually the similar thing. The owner got 10 tickets uh, besides one. Mm. Uh, well, for the paid access on the other positive is mostly instead of getting like 10 tickets or anything like that, instead of just getting tickets now, you can actually put paid access to actually earn money for those coming into your game. Yeah. So it's sort of like earning beneficial, helps you pay for more stuff for your game and have stuff like that. And like for pre alphas I think it's really smart. So people don't complain about like, ah, the game is not working. No, they, they say if you want to play a not finished game, you have to pay for it. And that's, I think, really smart. It's uh, mostly, uh, it's, well, uh, what else? I honestly can't think of much else. I mean, <laughs> it's the is on paid access. It's just pretty basic on it. True. Being obviously benefits the owners, um, helps go forward in further development. Gets and rid of some noobs sometimes. Sometimes. Uh, guests won't join. Guests obviously can't join in general. To... Well, they can sometimes if the owner's account glitches out, but for the rest, the chance is like minimum if that happens. And I think uh, Roblox should totally not remove it, but should watch out what will happen with it. That's all I, I want to say a warning to them, because people can scam so easy with it. Yeah. And they well, need to work that out. Well, a lot of people who think of it like that is, I, whenever I look into paid access games, I look at two things. One, the likes and dislikes on it, because a game obviously that's paid access with a lot of dislikes is not worth your money and most likely <laughs> is a scam. So I wouldn't even try it. Um, the other option would be the comments. In most people's games that are paid access, they usually have a comments available. If they don't have comments available, that is a sure sign that it's not going to be a good game. But and sometimes, but sometimes that's not true. Because I also own that's a game. I own a game and I had to close it down because people were saying I copied it. But the uh, original game maker gave it to me for further development. And yeah, I had to close it down because people were so stupid to understand that is that happened, really. Yeah, but in comments wise, for most people, it's like gambling. If comments are off on the place, it's a gamble for paid access. It means yeah. you could be scammed, you could not be. It depends on how it is. But mostly the sure sign is the likes and dislikes. That is True. the number one thing you look at in games. Obviously, so, yeah. most people who is in the alpha side of things, there'll be a lot of dislikes. That's only because their opinions or they're too dumb to think yep. that it's still being improved in time. Like that miss, but yeah, I think we kind of said everything about it and we got mixed uh, feelings about it. And yeah, I think it should stay, but Roblox needs to develop it a little bit more to make sure it's better. Mm. Well, it counts to put uh, like a max fee on it still because yeah. I see so many games that are virtually 100 Robux paid access still. And I sit here and think, why would you want to pay that much to get into that kind of game? I have 500 for Alphine Online by o Online Adventure, Swagblocks, BB Studio. Yeah, it happens. The game was shit in Alpha. And yeah, he promised us so much. But yeah, that, that was something I want my money back on. But yeah, that's not possible. Nope. Not unless he uh, is so generous enough to pay 500 for <laughs> the game. Um. Yeah, shush. 
But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, we maybe see you next in the next Let's Talk. So please say it with me. One, two, three. Peace out. Yeah. Peace out. Yeah.